going on guys? The SSM back again with another video. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you're having a great day so far. And today we're going to be talking about the Miami Dolphins wide receiver situation coming into 2021. So there's kind of a lot to unpack here. Uh, we made obviously a, like a handful of additions to the team. Uh, and we have a lot of wide receivers on roster right now, a ton. We've got like 14 or 15 guys on roster right now. So there's a lot to sift through. And obviously that number is going to be trimmed down, come closer to the season. It's really kind of just a matter of how many wide receivers do you think are going to be on roster in the 2021 season. So that's something to talk about. We'll get into all of that. I do want to talk about who I think is going to start, what the role will be, uh, how it's going to affect the offense, and, and if I think this wide receivers group is going to get better this year. So before we get into all that, guys, uh, two things. If you could do me a huge favor, subscribe to the channel, uh, like this video, and then also share it with your friends. That helps grow the channel a ton, guys, and it means so much to me. I always appreciate it. And like I announced in the last video, we have merch down in the description. So click on that, check it out. Got some shirts, a hoodie, stickers, all that stuff with a bunch of different colors. So if you're interested and you want to support the channel a little bit more than just subscribing, check it out. I made it as affordable as possible just to give back to you guys and say thank you for the support. So, all right, let's go ahead and take a look at the receiver. So I'm looking at my laptop. Sorry if I'm not looking straight at the camera. Uh, but our receivers currently on roster right now. We've got Devontae Parker, Will Fuller, Jalen Waddell. Preston Williams, Lynn Bowden Jr., Jakeem Grant, Albert Wilson, Mac Hollins, Robert Foster, Alan Hearns, Malcolm Perry, Kirk Merritt. So there's a lot of guys, okay? There's a lot of players to sift through. So let me talk about who I think will be on roster come 2021. So I think, in my opinion, the Dolphins will probably have around seven wide receivers on roster. Could be six, but I think ideally seven would be the sweet spot. I think that's the right number. It really kind of depends on how many linemen they plan on keeping, how many running backs they plan on keeping. And we have a lot of running backs and a ton of tight ends too. So it really kind of goes hand in hand. The certain positions are going to affect others. So, but my personal opinion, I think seven is the sweet spot. Now, I think who will definitely be on roster. Devontae Parker will be on roster for 2021. I, I don't think he'll be gone. I know a lot of people are talking about maybe he won't be on the team. I think he should be. And I think that he will be. Uh, barring any you know later trades uh, that happen or trying to cut salary for whatever reason, I think Devontae Parker will be on the team. Will Fuller obviously will be there. Jalen Waddell, same thing. He will definitely be on the team. Preston Williams, I think will be on the team. Now, despite all the injury problems, despite really just not being able to see the field enough to get a big enough sample size of what you can expect from Preston Williams, uh, I think he's cheap and I think he's young. And I think he's got upside. He's, you know, similar to Devontae Parker, obviously not as good, but he has that similar play style. And Devontae Parker's getting up there in age. And, you know, he's injured. So I think it's, we really probably, if we retain Devontae Parker, you're probably looking at only another couple of years max uh, of play time from Devontae Parker. And I think Preston Williams could ideally kind of slide into that role and fulfill the, you know, X receiver that Devontae Parker is in this system. You know, big bodied, high point possession type receiver. So I think he will be on roster just in the interest of retaining someone who's young and cheap. Uh, Lynn Bowden Jr. I think will be on the team. I don't think he'll leave. Uh, I think he showed enough flashes this last year, showed, you know, some versatility playing in the slot. He can play uh, running back, maybe, you know, kind of a gadgety type player, but he's, you know, consistently can do a little bit after the catch. And that's what I like about him. And, and I've said this plenty that Tua really need the weapons towards, you know, the short routes. You know, he needs a lot of those guys who can do a lot after the catch just as a safety blanket. You know, if things aren't developing downfield, Tua's having a hard time making, you know, reads or, you know, there's a lot of pressure, he predicates himself a lot on being able to get the ball out, you know, to his checkdowns or to his slot guys that can do more after the catch and make his job easier. So I think Lynn Bowden Jr. does a good job at that. Uh, you know, first year on the team last year, I think he performed. He did fine when he was on the field. I think it's worth having a guy like him around. I don't see a reason for him not to be on the team. So right off the bat, that's five guys. So Devontae Parker, Will Fuller, Jalen Waddell, Preston Williams, Lynn Bowden Jr. So two spots open. Uh, now, this next one I'm going to talk about is it's going to be a discussion for sure. And I want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I think Albert Wilson will be on the team this year. And I was talking to my dad on the phone about it. He disagreed with me, said, I don't think so. Uh, it's too expensive. And while I do agree with that, I think Albert Wilson is too expensive. I think, you know, we probably should have either tried to restructure or just cut him 
earlier on uh, in the offseason period. But something that I did bring up and talked about is the Dolphins had the opportunity to cut Albert Wilson earlier on in the interest of saving more money. And once you pass that deadline, that specific date, you're not going to save the same amount of money towards your cap than you would have if you cut him before that spot. So we've already passed that point with Albert Wilson, which leads me to believe we're probably going to keep him on roster, maybe just for the idea of, hey, listen, if Jalen Waddell hurts his ankle again, Will Fuller's going to be suspended for the first uh, first week. Maybe this is someone who can just kind of come in and fill the gaps when necessary. And if it's not working out, it's not working out, we'll cut him later on down the road. But I think just in the interest of why would you want to cost yourself more money when you could have cut him before and saved a lot, Wilson will probably be on the roster in 2021. Now, it's not my preference. I don't want Albert Wilson on the roster. I think he's too expensive for what we're paying him, especially considering, I mean, if you have Parker, Fuller, Waddle, Preston Williams, and potentially Lynn Bowden in, like ahead of him, then he's going to be your sixth receiver. And to pay your sixth receiver as much money as we're paying Albert Wilson – that's too much. So this is kind of a debate. I want to know what you guys think down below. Do you think Albert Wilson should be on the team 2021? So that's the question for the video comment down below. And for our last spot, last spot is open to a lot of options. Okay, we've got Jakeem Grant, Matt Collins, Robert Foster, Malcolm Perry, Alan Hearns, Kirk Merrick. Um, I'm not too sure about this one. Malcolm Perry, I think, is an interesting guy. Uh, he's got versatility. He can, kind of like Lynn Bowden, uh, a gadgety type guy. He can play out of the backfield. He can play in the slot. He played quarterback. So if you really kind of want, if you wanted to run a, I don't know, like a wildcat type of thing, but that's, you know, in the past, obviously. So Malcolm Perry's kind of up in the air. I'm not sure uh, if he would be on the roster in 2021. I think the production from Lynn Bowden kind of makes him expendable. Uh, and I don't think that Jakeem Grant will be on the roster in 2021, nor do I want him to be. And those of you who have watched the channel know that I think Jakeem Grant is a waste of space on this roster. I just don't think that he brings any value to the team, not in special teams, even though he can be explosive. He muffs, I mean, probably one out of every four punts that he returns, he muffs it. And that's a detriment to your play in special teams. He also drops a ton of passes, which is never going to be beneficial to your team. And I think Jalen Waddle coming in will fulfill that spot role or the slot role on the offense and really kind of kick Jakeem towards the back of the roster. And he's expensive. So I would not want him on my roster. I don't think that he will be on the roster. Uh, so that really leaves it up to Matt Collins, Robert Foster, Alan Hearns, Kirk Merrick. Um, we signed Robert Foster in free agency. It was a cheaper deal. He's a speedster. He's also a special teamer. So it's a matter of whether we think that he's going to actually play consistent special team snaps or not. And then you got Matt Collins, who, you know, produced a little bit last year. He wasn't bad, uh, wasn't good. It was kind of just very in the middle play, you know, dropped some passes, but also made some good plays. So I think it's a toss up between those two. If anything, I think it's going to be a toss up between Matt Collins and Robert Foster. So let me know who you think out of those two guys would be on the team. So there's our seven. All right. Our seven is Devontae Parker, Will Fuller, Jalen Waddle, Preston Williams, Lynn Bowden Jr., Albert Wilson, and then your choice between Matt Collins and Robert Foster. So here's what I think briefly. I'm not going to go over this long. We're already kind of going a little bit longer on this video. Uh, this is what I think our offense will look like. I think Devontae Parker will be your ex. I think Will Fuller will be playing the opposite side of the field as him. I think Jalen Waddle will be in the slot. Uh, those are going to be your starting three guys. Maybe if we're playing, uh, you know, a bigger set, we could do Preston Williams uh, on the outside, Will Fuller in the slot. Uh, if we're playing a four receiver set, you could squeeze all those guys in. But I think ideally, Devontae Parker, Will Fuller, Jalen Waller are going to be your starting three. That's a great setup. Uh, Devontae Parker, like I said, high point possession, really, really good one-on-one -on -one matchup receiver. Uh, he's going to catch pretty much anything you throw at him. The problem is the injuries, obviously. Will Fuller is pretty much as fast as anybody in the league, dominated last year. If he didn't get suspended, he was on track for like a 1,300-yard season with 10 touchdowns. Really, really good player. I think he brings a ton of value to the team. He's not overly expensive, uh, but we do have him for the one year. I, I think he's going to be great for Tua. He's going to be really good for Devontae Parker, too, because defenses will not be able to double up Parker, double up Gesicki. Uh, they're going to have to account for Will Fuller and his speed and his separation skills. Jalen Waddell out of the slot, I think, will be incredible for Miami. Like I was saying earlier, he's that slot option. Tua can depend on being able to dump the ball off to him. If they're playing a four-verts type of offense, which I think would make a lot of sense, 
uh, for the Dolphins. Tua actually plays really well in four verts. If, if you go back and look at his tape from when Alabama ran those types of schemes for offense, he played really, really well. He's a good four verts type of quarterback. Um, so I think that that would benefit them. But if we're going to play Jalen Waddle in the slot and kind of, you know, run him over the middle of the field, I think that benefits Tua too, because you've got that player who can be your safety blanket. Makes a lot of sense. So between Fuller and Jalen Waddell, you've got a ridiculous amount of speed and a ridiculous amount of separation. That'll open things up, not only for Tua, not only for the other receivers on the field, but also for the running game. And I talked a lot about that in our running back situation video too. These two guys that we added to the team are going to make everybody's job a lot easier. So that is our receiver group. Uh, those are our starters. That's what I think it'll look like. Um, that's the benefit to adding Fuller and Waddle. And these are the guys who I think are going to be on roster. So I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Leave your thoughts, leave your comments, concerns, all that good stuff. I appreciate you guys stopping by. As always, the support means a ton to me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share this video and check out the merch down below in the description. I appreciate you guys. Have an awesome day. Catch you very soon. Take it easy. Fins up.